Hey guys, this is Love Sucking coming back at you. And uh, this is a follow up review to the full review that I did of the Grand Meister Deluxe 40 amp by Hughes and Kentner. If you haven't seen that full review, uh, there should be a link that's popping up right now on this page uh, that you can watch on YouTube also to see all the main features and characteristics that I uh, described and reviewed about this Hughes and Kentner amp. Um, what this is is a follow up review talking about the effects loop for pedals and also the power soak feature based on comments that uh, I received on the full review video. So we'll be doing that. I'll be using a couple of cameras and this one I'll be using uh, especially throughout. Uh, I'll be using and uh, sending the audio, uh, not just from these cameras, but from the Redbox AE, which is out the back of the head of the Grandmeister Deluxe 40. If you don't know anything about the Redbox AE, make sure you check out Hughes and Kentner's website to talk, that talks about it. And the full review that I give, which talks about and also demo some of the sound from there. But all the main sound, especially from uh, the effects loop uh, demo stuff, that all the audio will be really from the Redbox AE specifically. And then I'll be using this camera room mic with the power soak feature so you can hear what it really sounds like when we dial down from 40 to 20 to 5 to 1 watt. And you can see that it's pretty usable to use even at home or bedroom levels if you're practicing at home. Okay, and uh, this is my setup that I'm going to be using. That's my pedal board. And you can see I have a whole bunch of pedals here, a, a Mark Tremonti Wom, a couple of exotic effects, uh, a compressor pedal, the SP and the booster on the end there. I have the Freedman BEOD Overdrive, which I'm going to do a demo of later, another review, and the Soul Food, uh, Electro Harmonic Soul Food Overdrive, which is also great. I got the Polytune tune over there. Uh, that's a Polytune 2. And I have the Alliance 6 M9 Stomp Box Modeler, which has all kinds of effects that I've set up that I use in live settings so that you can hear how that sounds going through the effects loop. And uh, that's also controlled by the Mission Engineering uh, pedal there, which really, uh, really controls some of the parameters, um, swells and different things or some of the different things that I've programmed. Okay, and we'll be running that, of course, through the effects loop. And just one thing that you need to know, the effects loop only works if you have the effects loop button pressed. If you don't have it engaged, uh, then it's not going to work. And what I've done on the foot switch, the MIDI foot switch, I have it, I've set up a whole bank, uh, which is bank for here, uh, for the, the clean, the crunch, and uh, the lead, and the ultra. And I'll just be running through the effects so you can kind of hear how they sound, and uh, you can judge for yourself how good it sounds. And I'll be using my uh, Zane Guitars uh, Retro Rocker, which is basically a custom shop telecopy which sounds great with Rio Grande pickups. Also just so you know I'll be using a pedal snake uh, wiring system that's running basically through from the end of uh, the Friedman uh, overdrive and it's going right into the front of the preamp and then I'm running everything else the send and uh, the return I don't know if you can see that there but I'm uh, pushing the, the here's the send and here's the return and that's all going back you know, through here up to, um, you know, the input of the, the Line 6 modeler, and then it's returning back to the amp after the booster here. Okay, just so that you know, though, I'm just using that pedal snake.
Okay, so now what we have here is I turned around the head. You can see that I turned the head around. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to use the camera mic itself. And what I want to do is I have set up a loop here. And uh, if you see here, I set up a loop uh, really using the, the lead channel. Um, and what we're going to do is I just, I'm just going to play the loop. We're going to play it at 40 watts full. And you're going to watch me turn the buttons, press the buttons actually. And you're going to see how soft it gets all the way down to the um, where it cuts off the speaker. And you'll see different lights going on. You'll see the tubes will be turned off, different power tubes and stuff like that. That's pretty loud. one watt, very manageable. That's probably what I would use if I was um, practicing at home. That's actually what I do use when I'm at home. And then if you just want to cut off completely, if you're recording with the red box, which is right there, you can see the settings I have. Just press that. You have silent recording. Well guys, hopefully that video really showed you how good the effects sound using a regular pedal board through the effects loop and uh, how useful the power soak feature is. And uh, I think, you, especially with the power soak feature, you can use it for big stages at 40 watts, smaller stages at 20 and five, and definitely in your bedroom or practice room at home, uh, so you don't drive the neighbors or the family crazy at one watt. That's what I use all the time, and I leave the master volume at about uh, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock at the most. And remember, that master volume, at any wattage, you could really boost it up and make it just as loud as you want or just as soft as you want. And it still feels really good, even at the low wattages, the distortions, the crunch, and the ultrasound, really, and feel really good under your fingers, even at one watt. You'd be really surprised. So hopefully that helps out. And remember, there's also a great noise gate on here, which I use during the lead and ultra channels, that is very effective. And you can rotate the knob uh, between hard and softer noise gates, depending on what you uh, want and feel for uh, your settings. So hopefully that helps out. Make sure to look at the full review that I have of the Grand Meister Deluxe 40 by Hughes and Kettner. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel also. And let me know what kind of gear reviews you want to hear in the future. And I'll make sure to try to get those out for you. Until then, take care and we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>